Life is short, wear the leggings. It drives me nuts when people say that leggings are not pants because leggings are pants. Some people say you shouldn't wear them as pants. Why are people looking at them in like a creepy sexual way? It's like wearing, you know, sweatpants or something. They're pants, okay? I've been told that they're not pants and also that I shouldn't wear them because I'm plus size. Usually when I put on leggings, I end up jumping around a lot. And if I can kind of do this and move around. I know a pair of leggings fit when I pop a little bit. I can like pick my legs up. Once they're on in the dressing room, I'm definitely testing like this. I definitely need to be sure that I can like. I'm just looking for something with a real good stretch and I can put my leg over my head if I need to. It's more for me about the right amount of stretch so that they're functional and not falling down. I am bottom heavy and like, you know, I have a big butt and big thighs. Finding leggings that stretch and cater to that is essential. It's spandex, of course. I like high-waisted leggings. Definitely love high-rise. I love the waist snatched. I know leggings fit well when they hit me about right here on my stomach, cover my belly button. I like a higher waist just because I have a weird torso and my natural waist is like up here. I hated when leggings were down here, but now it's like, can I hide my whole stomach in them? Because I am so short, sometimes high-waisted leggings will like come up to here and that's not gonna work. If I'm like struggling to get them up and over my back, they're a good pair of leggings. There are certain leggings out there that you're just like, Excuse me, hello, my butt looks good. You no, know you found a good pair of leggings when they push your butt up. So a lot of times I'll get a fit for my thigh and then it's too big in the waist and I'll be like running or something or trying to be active and they'll just go do, 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 do. I wanna make sure that my leggings don't fall down and show my unmentionables. I like to test um, how transparent leggings are by taking my phone flashlight and literally just going in the mirror and you know, shining a light. Most of the time, like if I bend over, I always do a check where like I bend over by the mirror. I really don't want them to be see-through. The last thing you want is to have your butt in the air in a downward dog and have somebody behind you have, you know, a really great view of the underwear you're wearing. So I always do one of these. I shouldn't have to like figure out what color underwear I need to wear for the day when I intend on wearing leggings. This is just inevitable for women who have big legs, big thighs. They rub together and your pants wear out really quick. Durability is like everything. I have big ass thighs, they shave, and so the fabric gets like hilly. I don't wanna spend money on a pair of leggings and then wear them two times and then the crotch is <laughs> busted. Some people are like, girl, get those $5 leggings. I'm like, no, I can't. They can wear out in the inner thigh or they're like too thin and they just show everything. Here's what I want for my leggings when I'm working out. I want so much protection in this region. I don't want, when this region starts sweating, oh, no, 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 we gotta go. I sweat like a center in church. Rather than leaving like a lovely butt stain wherever I sit, I would rather like the fabric kind of just wick that away. I wanna feel like I'm the driest human being walking down the Sahara, like just dry, dry, dry. I don't wanna have to be constantly thinking about the leggings as I'm working out. I'm a fan of Pilates. And so there's a lot of like having your crotch and legs up in weird positions on a reformer. Having leggings that stay in place when you're in awkward positions and being flexible is very important. I do a lot of dance workouts, so if I'm doing that movement and my leggings fall down, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. If I'm running on the treadmill, I'm not constantly pulling them up. You just don't want them moving. When I'm working out and I'm wearing leggings that don't fit, it's very uncomfortable. I have to like focus on what I'm doing, the proper position and technique, and also worry about if my butt crack is gonna show. When I decided that I wanted to lose weight and I got a personal trainer, I would go to the gym and I would wear clothes that were very baggy so that no skin would be seen whatsoever. And the more confidence I got, the more that I decided, okay, well I can wear tighter fitness gear now because I'm feeling good about myself. At the end of the day, I wanna be healthy and I wanna be fit. And I need a pair of leggings to get me through the hour long workout. I think women need to dress for the gym like it's somewhere they want to go. And when your only options are like an old t-shirt and a pair of baggy sweatpants, how is it ever gonna be a place you wanna go? But if I have a nice pair of leggings that I love and a shirt that fits me like it's supposed to and I can move well in, I feel confident and empowered when I enter the gym. I'll stop wearing leggings when I stop looking so good in leggings. I got good legs from my mom and my grandma and I think leggings show them off the best way. There's something about Leggings, that feels like powerful to me. It reminds me of being an athlete. Leggings are my power clothes. I can stretch, I can move, I can run, I can jump, I can do whatever I need to do. It's about what makes you feel comfortable. Nobody puts leggings in a corner.